notion of cutting down a tree has been tainted by many environmentalists as a neglectful and irresponsible act towards the environment. The truth is, lumber has been and always will be a sustainable resource if maintained correctly. Forestry as an industry has lost face because of the large-scale deterioration it has caused when based on misunderstandings of, of natural systems and the insatiable drive for profit. Maintaining a healthy logged forest doesn't mean we have to destroy the supported ecosystems within that forest. Their cutting, damage to riparian zones, and large-scale production harvesting don't have to occur. Sustainable forestry exists, and it's productive and profitable. Certain trees are selected to be cut based on the forester's complex understanding of a healthy forest, and then they're removed, harming the smallest area possible. So this way it leaves young trees to grow bigger, mature trees to regenerate, and also leaves animals to thrive in their natural habitat. Well, in a nutshell, a sustainable forest is a forest where you can continue on your present management or removal of fibre in perpetuity without ever depleting any of the resources. And what they try to do is to open up canopy, uh, take out uh, less healthy trees, uh, maybe trees that have cankers or old cat faces, they're rotten, and some uh, better quality trees for logs, and then they leave the nicer stock trees so they're really straight and healthy they leave those to produce seeds well the horses are our when it comes to forestry and we people are very gullible creatures and we like to believe what we want to believe and if we see an animal walking through the forest especially a horse doing the work um, we've got romantic notions of 100 200 years ago the way the forefathers did things and that this obviously must be very benign and can't cause any damage to the forest and uh, in many cases it does. And there is some... One of the things that we should realize on this globe is that forestry is really the only, or trees and tree fiber and wood is really the only sustainable resource that we do have. There's really nothing else. There's, if we look at stone or oil or steel, it's, it's all finite, whereas forests we really can have the cake and eat it. And if we look at the wood products, really what we're looking at is, is carbon. And of course, this world is a surplus of carbon. Uh, when the first islands in the Pacific start to get evacuated, that's when the world starts to realize that it's time.